grocery cart runs into a spring attached to a wall with a spring constant of 28 newton meters and compresses it by 60 centimeters. What was the speed of the cart just before it hit the spring? Neglect any friction. So uh, drawing a picture, they say that we have a grocery cart that runs into a spring attached to a wall and here's our grocery cart okay and so it's going and smashes into that so let's put this into simple layman terms what we're saying is this grocery cart has some sort of kinetic energy and it runs into a spring and when it completely compresses the spring the final velocity of the cart is zero meaning it will have zero kinetic energy and it's all turned into spring potential energy uh, I'll just put P for potential energy even though it's U for potential energy okay so um, obviously we're dealing with conservation of energy and I always recommend anytime you're dealing with conservation of energy um, it's helpful to write out the full equation while you're getting used to it just to get practice of identifying what is being used and what isn't so let's go ahead and write it all out so we know that we have kinetic energy plus potential energy plus any spring energy um, I'll just put S sub P for spring and then we also have any work of friction and these are all initial equal to the same things in the final oops not KU KE plus U plus spring and then um, work is just on the initial side so now let's go ahead and fill in those for what they actually are so kinetic energy is of course 1 half MV squared initial plus mgy delta y initial plus the spring potential energy which is one half spring constant k times how far it compresses squared initial plus I'll just put work due to friction equals one half mv final squared plus mg delta y oops final square, geez, not squared, mgy final, and one half uh, kx squared final, <laughs> barely made it. Okay, so now let's go, and I go ahead and identify what is and isn't there. So of course there's some sort of kinetic energy there at the beginning, because of course that's what we're solving for. We want that uh, ve velocity initial. We, we don't have any change of delta y, so delta y in this case is zero. So that whole term times by zero becomes zero. Initially, the spring is not compressed at all, so delta x in that case is zero, so that's also zero. And they say in the, the question to neglect any friction, so we don't have any friction. Okay, so then, the final velocity of the cart, like we talked about, when it fully compresses that spring is zero. So one half m times v final, v is zero, goes to zero. We don't have any change of y again, so that's zero. And then one half kx final, it's compressed at the very end, so we do have that. So that big long equation reduces then, change back to color black, so one half mv squared initial equals one half k delta x final squared. So now let's um, make a list of what they gave us. They tell us the mass of the card is 12 kilograms. Kilograms. They tell us the initial, well I guess we're solving for initial velocity so we don't know that. Um, they tell us the spring constant K is equal to 280 newton meters, newtons per meter. And then they tell us the, um, the spring is compressed, so our delta X is 60 centimeters, or 0 0.6 meters. 
Great, so now we have everything. Let's go ahead and solve for what we want, of course, of the VI uh, initial, V initial. So let's go ahead and divide this whole side of the equation by 1 half M. So we're left with V initial squared is equal to 1 half K X final squared divided by 1 half M. Well, both the top and the bottom terms have a 1 half, so that can be simplified out or canceled. So now we're left with V velocity initial squared equals K delta X final squared over M. So let's get rid of that squared on both sides. So if we square root that, we square root this whole side, that leaves us with our final equation of velocity initial is equal to the square root of k x final squared over m. And if we plug in the answer or the, all the uh, the numbers, we'll we'll get our answer out of that. And you may look at that and you say, hey, well, we have a squared value here with the, the x final squared under a square root, so isn't that kind of redundant? And the answer is yes. But so if we simplify that, then we get delta x final times the square root of k over m. But if you plug these into the calculator, they'll give you the same answer. So the second one over here is technically more correct, but the, for the sake of the question, it's, it's the same. All right, so let's scroll down a little bit and just plug it in. So V initial is equal to delta X final, which they say is 0 0.6 meters times the square root of K, which is 280 newtons per meter, divided by the mass, which is 12 kilograms, square root. And that gives us 2.898 meters per second, and then rounded for mastering physics gives us 2.9 meters per second. And that's our final answer.